Hey Lan, hi folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I'm using human pronouns. I just finished filming a 42 week testosterone voice progression update video and I'm just thinking I'll just film an actual video and give a little update on testosterone changes because it's been a while since I've actually done that. So yes, today I'm officially 42 weeks on testosterone. 42 weeks and in 10 days time on November 12th. I officially hit 10 months on testosterone. My one year anniversary for starting testosterone is coming up soon. It's gone by so quick. Um, it's unbelievable. And I said in the update video, my jawline has definitely come out a lot better. Uh, not just because of testosterone. It's like testosterone combined with different exercises I do and just training, boxing, exercising in general. And my collarbone has definitely come out a lot nicer as well. Like I've been losing a lot of fat and gaining a lot of muscle. Yeah. Muscle building thanks to testosterone. But yeah, due to training as well, like it didn't just happen naturally. I've been training for a very long time. And it's just sort of come to this point where the changes are significantly noticeable compared to before I started testosterone and like it's been so fast two weeks go so fast like I film T voice update videos every two weeks now because one week is like mm, a bit short now so I do it every two weeks and I remember just filming my 40 week on testosterone video now I'm filming my 42 week on testosterone video and then 10 days time I was filming my 10 months on testosterone video it's just so fast um, but about the actual changes itself, I don't know if my receding hairline is here yet, like I got a haircut, I don't know if that was already the stash is the first thing. Definitely come out a lot more, a lot more chin hair as well and I'm gonna shave so it can grow up more, like I'm gonna try and get the biggest stash I can for me. Um, my neckline has come out a lot better, like I don't know if that's because of testosterone or exercise or both but it's, it's, it's come out a lot nicer too, same with the jawline. I'm getting a lot of hair in other parts of my body in general, like my legs. Like there's like hair growing in the back of my thighs and stuff, and I didn't used to have that. Hair growing in the back of my thighs, side of my leg, my lower legs, my chest, my, my abdomen area has a lot more hair too. And I didn't have, I didn't used to have this much hair before I started testosterone or even early on in my testosterone journey. Another thing I've touched on is muscle growth. like. Before I started testosterone, I I couldn't like build this much muscle even if I trained and worked out. Maybe I wasn't training properly and I didn't do the right exercises, that's part of it. But testosterone has significantly helped me build more muscle and just increase strength in general. And I'm not, I'm not saying just it's just because of the testosterone, it's testosterone paired with training. It's like the perfect combination and yeah. And uh, there's this thing that I hear where uh, testosterone makes you angry. Um, that hasn't happened for me. Like, I'm still me. Testosterone does not change my personality and it doesn't change who I am as a person. Well, I guess not directly anyway. I mean, testosterone, going on this hormone journey can, like, I can grow in different ways and then change as a result of growth and learning and stuff. But testosterone itself doesn't change my personality or who I am um, but it has affected my ability to, cr to cry I used to cry a lot easier now it's much harder for me to cry that's definitely something that's changed that's also has changed my my head in a way and in my emotional response in a way because it's harder for me to cry and I used I'm a very heavy crier and crying is one of my outlets but now I can't really do it anymore even if I want to cry this is a juicy one that I have not talked about before on this channel. Um, like sexual drive. I've been on testosterone for almost 10 months. And I guess because I've never, well, I was in a relationship, but we like we didn't do anything like that yet. I, like, I'd say that sexual drive is more up there, but I don't know whether that's because of testosterone directly or because I've grown confident in like that area and like learning about myself and not being scared of intercourse anymore or combination of both i don't know but yeah it's definitely different compared to early on in my trans journey
I'm also gonna mention this that I've never talked about before on this channel because I wasn't really comfortable. Now I'm just like, I've grown much more confident and comfortable with this whole thing. So, um, you may have heard of people who go on testosterone, who are assigned to my birth who go on testosterone, uh, like grow a little testosterone penis or like a T dick. Um, I didn't even actually know what that was. Um, before I experienced it myself, like I've heard of it, I've heard other trans men talk about it, for example, but I didn't really know what it was. Um, and I actually have one, like it's so basically, <laughs> it's basically very small, and it's just like the tip of an uh, a penis that a cis, a cis man has. It's like it's like that long and there's like a little tip at the end that's like a cis man's penis but that's about the extent of it that I have so far I don't know maybe two three years down the line it'll like I don't but that doesn't really bother me it's just something that I didn't have before I went on testosterone and now it's just grown out slightly slightly it's not like a cis guy's it's not like a cis guy's penis or sorry it's not like someone who's assigned male at birth um it's not like a penis of someone who's assigned assigned male at birth definitely not for periods it completely stopped around for me at least around seven eight months into my testosterone journey like it didn't stop completely at five or six months in i still had like spotting like it wasn't like full blown out menstrual cycles but just like spots of menstrual blood like here and there but it stopped completely now for two or three months um yeah no more periods i don't get menstrual cramps either even though i don't mention it like, i don't get cramps because of that either like none of that it's that's completely ceased um at this point in my testosterone journey but another thing acne it looks pretty clear now like this is my good skin like Sometimes I get really, really bad acne. I think more predominantly when I just get my new, my next injection and then acne just blows out. But this is relatively good. Like this is good skin for me. Like that I don't have much acne. There's like some, some acne here, but otherwise it's, it's, it's good skin. It's good. I guess I mentioned about the emotional and psychological in previous update videos, but yeah it's a, it's definitely testosterone has definitely affected mood and i notice when my testosterone levels are at a low like uh so when i get my injection it goes up and it's a, i think it sort of stabilizes and then later it's, it starts dropping off down going testosterone levels start decreasing as my time passes and my body metabolizes i notice that i feel a lot weaker and like my mood and energy levels are just low and then I get my next injection and then everything is all good again like now that I'm on testosterone I need testosterone in my engine to to run it's like it's like petrol for a car and once I start going and once I start dropping 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 and then near empty it just like messes up my entire system so Testosterone is part of the fuel and I get my new injection and I feel I feel livid and I also notice like when my testosterone levels are low um, I have less energy and I get tired from exercising and training a lot more quickly Like I don't last as long compared to when I have high levels of testosterone um, This isn't like scientific evidence or anything. This is just something I've noticed in myself. I definitely feel more fatigued quickly on low testosterone levels compared to higher levels. As for the second puberty itself, I don't remember what my first puberty was like. Um, I don't remember it, to be honest. Um, but the second puberty, it hasn't been as bad as like I thought it would be. Like I thought, I guess testosterone emotionally would just completely wreak havoc on me. And like I've heard people say it's hard and stuff, so I got scared. Um, but honestly, for me, it's not been it's not been bad. Aside from the I guess the mood changes sometimes, and my body and mind having to adjust to the testosterone. But other than that, it's 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 cruise. I don't know if cruise is the right word. It's okay. 
and um, I don't know why I was shaking the camera so much in the previous footage like it's no earthquake here I promise it's just me shaking the camera um, un unconsciously subconsciously I didn't I didn't realize I was doing it um, but anyway that's all for now thanks for watching folks and I'll see you in the next video